hi guys thank you so much for tuning into my channel Shirley here in this video I am going to be co-washing my hair my hair is feeling really really dry at the moment from all the styling that I've been doing in my hair for the week I'm gonna go ahead and start by with parting my hair into four sections it's easier that way for me to detangle my hair when I part it into four sections now as far as co-washing what is co-washing for those of you who doesn't know co-washing is simply washing the hair with a conditioner only no shampoos are allowed when you are co-washing now when you first enter the world of co-washing there are a few important things that you need to be aware of when I first started co-washing I had to learn my hair and how it react to co-washes and also determine if it was for me now as for my case I was able to determine that co-washing is very beneficial for my hair I also want to say first important to understand is co-washing is not for everyone from my experience co-washing is better if you are relaxed when it is in good condition and when the hair is strong when relaxer is limp and weak co-washing can only add to the problem as it is as it is very soft remember that there is such thing as moisture overload too much moisture can result into flat limp and lifeless hair The conditioner that I'm going to be using is the Penty Pro-V Truly Relaxer Moisturizing Conditioner. Now what makes this conditioner so extraordinary is the luxurious, nutrient-rich cream, the micro-moisturizing wrap every strain, and long-lasting softness and manageability. My co-washing routine is super simple. The way I co-wash is to wet my hair in the shower the same way as if I were going to wash it. Next, I apply the conditioner. I gently massage my scalp for about three to five minutes, focusing on the new growth. As I stated earlier, I rely on co-washing for certain times in my hair care regime as I benefit from it the most. That time is when I am stretching my relaxer, when I am in the middle of latter period of stretching, when the new growth has gotten thicker and more difficult to maintain. Co-washing does wonder for my hair. It actually softens up the roots and gives me a fresh start for at least the next few days. However, newly relaxed head of hair Co-washing is not recommended that hair is more weakened state. I suggest focusing on deep conditioning for at least a couple of weeks after relaxing. Some tips on co-washing. Using a cheaper, a cheapy conditioner or a lightweight conditioner as it would not sit on as long as a deep conditioner and it would not weigh down your hair. Do not overdo it with co-washing. Too much co-washing just may cause damage or split in. I would never suggest that someone with relaxed hair to co-wash on a daily basis. Two times a week is plenty for me. I'm gonna go ahead and use my white tooth comb to go ahead and detangle my hair. I wouldn't say to completely get rid of shampoos. I still use a clarifying shampoo to avoid residue on my scalp. Many people that do co-wash exclusively put on coating on their scalp that is difficult to get rid of. So I do suggest you clarify at least once a month but you can also co-wash at least twice of the week two times out of the week then i go ahead and rinse out the conditioner out my hair as you can see my hair feels super super soft the conditioner feels so 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 great my hair feels moisturized and i am just loving it right now
Now that I'm done, I went ahead and damp dry my hair. As you can see, look at all my new growth in my hair. I use my leave-in conditioner and I also use a coconut oil, my organic virgin coconut oil. And make sure that the ingredient says organic coconut oil only and nothing else. See, I am experiencing some thinning in front of my hair due to postpartum, which I am working on to getting back those hair. I'm going to go ahead and allow my hair to air dry. I never use heat. I always, always let my hair air dry just because I do not want any heat damage in my hair. So my hair is done drying. It's about 99.9% .9 dry right now at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed in moisturizing my hair. As you can see, the front of my hair feels very slick due to the fact that I always tie it with my scarf. As you can see, I'm using my Baby Buttermilk Daily Moisturizing Conditioner. I like to lotion my hair into four sections, as you can see just to make sure that I saturate and I coat my hair with enough of that conditioner. I want to make sure that my hair is well, well saturated with the leave-in moisturizer. I love to start from the roots and work my way up. Still in that moisture with my oil mix. Again, if you would like to know what's in my oil mix, feel free to leave a comment below and I will definitely do a video on what's in my oil mix. It's great on promoting hair growth. I went ahead, now I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with styling my hair. I part my hair and section in the middle of my hair. I went ahead and put my banana clip as you can see. And then I'm going to go ahead and start the braiding process after that. This is basically my protective hairstyle for the week. I go ahead and add a little bit of my edge control so that I could sleek my edges because I love for my edges to be laid, baby. Yes. This protective hairstyle normally at least lasts me for three to four days, which is much better than trying to style my hair every day. So the less I manipulate my hair, the better it is for my hair and the less damage I will cause. So once I'm done, I go ahead and braid it and tuck the hair underneath it just so I can make sure that I'm not leaving any hair out since this is a protective hair style. Now, remember, co-washing can be either beneficial to your hair or it can do more harm than good. Let your hair be your direction. Have a happy and healthy hair growing experience. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. See you in another video. Thank you so much for watching.